Castle Salazar and the Salazar family is one with a rich and dark history. There are many unique paintings and sculptures and treasures to find within these walls. But what secrets do these paintings hide? And could these paintings be connected to a secret past of Castle Salazar? Before I start theorizing and speculating on some of these paintings, I'd like to go over some of the backstory and lore of Resident Evil 4. Specifically, the Salazars and the Los Illuminados. In Resident Evil 4, Ramon Salazar, the eighth generation Salazar, is the current ruler of the castle. As a child, he became afflicted with some unknown sickness that caused him to have the body of a 10-year-old, yet his face looks like that of an 80-year-old, and in the game he's actually around 20. His family tree looks like this, and there's a file in Resident Evil 4 called the Salazar Family Chronology, and it briefly talks about each of his descendants. First generation, Count Gregorio the Conqueror. Gregorio led his men to eradicate the evil that befell the castle. Recognized for his bravery, he was awarded the title of Count and entrusted to keep the demon sealed for generations to come. However, this guy's a little bit more important than some of the others, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about this backstory. Around the year 1500, Count Gregorio led a small army to a mountain in Spain where it was said there was a pagan community who would perform human sacrifices as well as indoctrinate people with mind control parasites called Las Plagas. This cult would become known as the Los Illuminados. Gregorio Salazar leading a small army slaughtered the Los Illuminados and their cult activities. However, not all the Los Illuminados were killed. Many fled to a nearby island, and it was unknown what became of them. As for the Las Plagas parasites, they were sealed away in an ancient complex in the caves under the mountain and the castle. Once the conquest was finished, Salazar took the castle under his name and built upon it. Salazar became the feudal lord of the area and protected the people and persecuted any suspected Los Illuminados activities. From here on out, his descendants would oppose any Los Illuminados activities. Or so the folklore goes. Next, we have the second generation, Count Hippolito, the Sealer. With great effort, Hippolito sealed away the plague of demons that emerged from the depths of the earth. He succumbed to wounds sustained in battle. Third generation, Count Gregorio the Architect. Driven by rational paranoia, Gregorio squandered his vast fortune on excessive castle defenses and strange elaborate contraptions. Fourth generation, Count Jose Alonso, the Tranquil. Alonso endeavored to restore the family's honor. Fifth generation, Count Alejandro, the Lavish. Playful at heart, Alejandro had a courtroom and a ballroom erected before his untimely death. Sixth generation, Countess Maria Isabel, the Lady. The former princess, Countess Isabel, had a long reign before her death at age 90. Seventh generation, Count Diego the Severe. Similar to his predecessor, Diego was exceedingly strict. He was murdered at the hands of a devil. Which brings us to the present. Eighth generation, Count Ramon. His illness should have taken him. 
Additionally, in the book, is this page. The Salazar family line has come to an end. In order to cure Ramon's sickness, his mother, Catalina, invited the devil into their home. The devil here is probably referring to Lord Sadler, the cult leader of the Los Illuminados, the main villain. But the main takeaway from all this is that, until now, seven generations of Salazars have claimed to be against the Los Illuminados and have claimed to want to protect the castle and the people from the Las Plagas parasite and that's why they sealed it away and they will do anything to stop the evil Las Plagas. Now in Castle Salazar is a gallery which holds many paintings. And the gallery room is the room where you need to get the goat head. And in this gallery and the main hall and some of the other connecting rooms, a lot of these paintings are really easy to miss. Some are kind of hidden, but they're all really bizarre and really strange and unique. So let's look at these paintings found in Salazar Castle. So this first painting here is a strange one. It's showing a man in gray robes kneeling before a king, handing him something. And the king looks on with his knights in the background and a strange figure in dark robes, maybe a servant. To the left we have a dark horse standing behind the men in gray, and up in the top left seems to be a castle on a cliffside. And at first glance, I thought maybe this guy was handing the king like a deed to land or something, but I'm not really sure what that object is in his hand. It doesn't look like a scroll. It almost looks like a staff of some sort or some sort of handle. And this painting looks very old. I think this is depicting when the original Salazar conquered the Los Illuminados and that would be them on the left. But this painting is portraying a scene that is much different than the folklore that portrays the conquer and slaughter of the Los Illuminados. And there's no other records of anyone else from Castle Salazar really uh, conquering anybody, so this has to be the Los Illuminados on the left here kneeling in defeat, I guess, or maybe a truce and offering the king an item as a sign of truce. And another reason I think this is the Los Illuminados, the two men in the gray here, is because in the top left is the castle. And it's on their side of the painting and it's, it almost seems like that is their side, that is their castle. So this might be before the castle became known as Castle Salazar. In Castle Salazar you can find a treasure item called the Staff of Royalty. And the staff looks very similar to the item portrayed in this painting. Could this be the same staff presented to the king, given by the leader of the Los Illuminados? Deep underground, the player can find a treasure called the Los Illuminados Pendant. Notice the similarities between the pendant and the top jewel on the Staff of Royalty. 
it's kind of hard to see and I'll probably have to edit the video to zoom in more but they do look very similar it looks to be the same kind of red jewel that is very unique so could this have been a gift from the Los Illuminados to the king There's also this black horse off to the left side behind the Los Illuminados. Horses in paintings are usually used as a sign of power. And this is a dark horse. And a dark horse is something that emerges victorious when it was unlikely to succeed. So perhaps this painting is alluding to the Los Illuminados regaining power after so many years of suppression. But I think that's unlikely because all throughout Castle Salazar, you find this dark horse symbolism. And if it was only meant to represent the Los Illuminados, then why would it be used by the Salazar family? Additionally, you can find a treasure item. It's a chessboard. And the two pieces on the board is a white king and a black knight. Knights and chess are represented with a horse. So we have this white king and this dark horse. And they're the only pieces on the board. Neither piece would be able to win the game, so it ends in a draw. Like I said, the painting looks like almost a truce. Is this chess board saying that neither side won that the Salazars secretly made a truce with the Los Illuminados? Here we have four murals on the wall depicting a knight who is a normal knight and then he goes and gets blessed by a king with a golden sword and the knight becomes golden it's like the king transferred some sort of power to him some sort of holy power the knight goes to his battle and is victorious and then the final mural depicts a tombstone with a golden helmet on top of the ground. Kind of strange for that to be the last one when the knight won the battle. And who is this guy up here? Is this the king from the mural? Is this the one who blessed the knight with the holy power looking down upon us? Could this be the first generation Salazar himself? I don't know. They look similar. And is the Golden Knight from the mural the same one we find deep below the castle? I think this is almost going into the old castle area that the Salazar castle was built upon. Maybe the knight's final mural is not saying he's dead, but that he lies underground waiting. Well, he's definitely dead now. But how are all these knights full of the Las Plagas parasite? I mean, they seem quite old, deep down here underground. Were these knights gifted with the Las Plagas parasite by a King Salazar? Is that possible? So let's go to the next painting. This is a strange one portraying a woman with two children on either side of her. This was the first painting I actually stopped to look at and was the original inspiration for this video. I stumbled upon this and I thought, how strange that the artist made this painting 
and drew both of the children's eyes closed. But then I remembered that all the children infected by Las Plagas in the village had died. From the book Biohazard 4, Incubit, we get a first-hand account from a villager named Rodrigo. 13. I ran over to my brother's house as fast as I could. Something was wrong with his son. He was sick in bed and around his mouth were traces of him coughing up blood. I asked him, and he said his entire body was in pain. His eyes glared at me, stained with madness, and I covered my ears trying to shut his words of pain out. Over the next few days, all the children in the village had died. Our precious children were all gone. Not a single one left. Not a single one. I think this painting is showing a mother and her two recently deceased children. Their eyes being shut is symbolizing that they have died. Perhaps after her children died, the mother wanted a painting commission to remember them by. And this was the painter's way to show that they were deceased. But this painting must surely be older than when Sadler infects the village. Perhaps something else plagued this community that involved the Las Plagas in the past. So this next painting looks a bit older, and it depicts a flying angel, a holy angel, almost stereotypical at first glance, but I think that this painting actually represents the insects that carry the Las Plagas parasite. The insects are referred to as the holy insects by the Los Illuminados. The insects, like the angel, have wings, and they have the power to infect someone with the Las Plagas parasite, which the Las Plagas parasites themselves have a tail with a tip that looks like a spearhead, similar to the one the angel is carrying. Sadler refers to Las Plagas as the holy body, so the holy angel comes to deliver the holy body through its spear. And if you think I'm looking into this too much and like reading into this and speculating too much, well, how about this? Sadler himself, the main villain, the leader of the cult, he carries a staff. And at the bottom of the staff is a golden spearhead. Could this painting be portraying the very same spearhead? This painting must be older than Osmond Sadler. But Sadler's ancestors have been in the Los Illuminados since around the year 1500, maybe even further back. Why would this be painted and end up in Salazar's castle if the Salazars were so against the Los Illuminados? At first glance, this next painting just looks like a typical portrait, nothing really special, but if you look closely, it reveals some more sinister details. In one hand, she appears to be holding something, while her other hand points off to the side, maybe pointing behind her. And what lies behind her is what appears to be a human body. Where the head should be is obscured by her body, and it leads me to believe that she is actually holding a head with her other hand, like holding it by the hair and the head is just behind her, just out of view. Could this painting be of Maria Isabel Salazar, the sixth countess, the one who was the wife of Alejandro Salazar? All we know about his death is that Alejandro was said to have had an untimely death. He was known as Alejandro the Lavish. Perhaps the people and his wife were sick of his lavish spendings and turned a blind eye to the nature of his death. And this painting is portraying the true nature. And this next painting is the biggest one in the gallery. And it's a strange one. I thought it was depicting a Los Illuminados human sacrifice, but the man who's about to be sacrificed doesn't necessarily appear to be human. There's, I don't know, tendrils or something coming out of his body. Maybe he's already infected and they're just calling forth the parasite. Uh, the man with the sword wears robes similar to Sadler. He's wearing dark black robes while everyone else is dressed in 
lighter colors. Maybe that was one of the early saddlers. And you see at the top there in the golden holy light, the symbol of the Los Illuminados. The was high up on a wall and hard to get a good camera angle, but luckily I later found the same model again in a more accessible place. Is this painting depicting one of the human sacrifices that were said to be practiced by the original Los Illuminados? Note the blonde hair of the girl, similar to Ashley. Or perhaps this is the New Age villagers forcing their family members to take part in a ritual to save them. A similar event is described in the Incubit book by our friend Rodrigo. This time it was my brother's turn. Suddenly he looked at me and screamed, Brother, help me! He was refusing to take part in the ceremony. In order for us villagers to become one, it was imperative that no one refused. Everyone present consulted the kind village chief and Lord Sadler on what to do about it. After having talked to my brother's family, and they too having accepted the ceremony, my brother accepted before long. The people around this girl appeared to be more family than a sacrificial cult. They certainly aren't dressed as an evil cult so they are probably forcing her to receive the Holy Parasite. But once again, is this being done by the Los Illuminados or people of the castle and village? this one, two knights lead a prisoner who looks to be a blonde girl. It's hard to tell if it is a girl, but perhaps there is something to the Los Illuminados and wanting to infect blonde girls. Maybe what they're trying to do with Ashley, they've tried to do in the past. But are these knights even the Los Illuminados, or are these the knights of Castle Salazar? This next one's kind of disturbing. <laughs> Down the hall a bit we come across this painting, and directly underneath it are some letters titled The Chronicles of Pursuit. It is letters written by a Mrs. Talavera, and she details some experiments that she willingly took place in, and these experiments involved infecting her womb directly with the Las Plagas parasite so that she could give birth to a new species and eventually the experiment was a success. I think this painting is a portrait of Miss Talavera, the one who gave birth to these creatures. And these are the holy creatures that she gave birth to. Despedimos, Señor Kennedy. When the player first encounters Ramon Salazar in the throne room, they are thrown into a big pit. And eventually the player makes it back up top to the castle. And if you actually backtrack and go to the throne room, present for you.
There are some interesting paintings inside. And we don't know if these paintings are of his father and mother or grandfather or whoever, but they do seem to be related to him, and his portrait is here as well. Is this his family? So what do you all think about the paintings inside Castle Salazar? Does Castle Salazar have a darker history than the one portrayed in the folklore? And I, w I actually have a lot more examples, but the video would have been three hours long so I stopped there. And I would take everything I said in this video with a grain of salt, it's pretty much all speculation. Thanks for watching. And the next time you play the Resident Evil 4 remake, maybe take some time to stop and look around. You might see something you weren't expecting. Something hidden only for those with the eyes that can see.